No, please. Please, no. No, please, stop. Stop, what do you want? What do you, so, no, no, no! Would you like to be a part of BHS TV? Um, well, yeah. I mean, I'll get interviewed. Hello, Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Monday, November 13th. I'm Grant Robbie Harris. And I'm Ashlyn Watts. And here's what's going on at BHS. The blood drive is tomorrow in the wrestling gym. Passes will be delivered first period on Tuesday. If you signed up, make sure to do the following to make sure the process goes as smoothly as possible. Complete the rapid pass prior to going down your, for your scheduled time. The link is redcrossblood.org slash rapid pass. Pass may be assessed on the day of donation, but no earlier. Bring a driver's license or state issued ID and have a completed parent permission form if you are under 17. If you need one, please pick one up from Mrs. Bess in SA205 or in your team office. If you didn't get a chance to sign up, there will be another blood drive in the spring. FCA is collecting donations for Operation Christmas Child this week. Small toys, coloring books, and crayons. Unused hygiene items and monetary donations will be accepted. Shoe boxes can be picked up in Mrs. Rector's room, the main building LGI, and a box for donations will be in Ms. Crone's room on the first floor of Senior Academy. Donations are due by this Friday. DECA would like to say thank you to all those who participated in the inaugural Big Noonie 3-on-3 three -three basketball tournament. They want to give a big shout out to the winners, Mr. Nibs, Mr. Burkhart, and Mr. Bundy. The BHS Spirit Coordinators would like anyone that has any pictures from the student section or spirit wear this year to post them to Twitter and use the hashtag TheZone8. And at ACWishTV, Brownsburg and Carmel are the two finalists and the winner will be announced this Friday. Anyone who has a deck event, signups are due tomorrow, Tuesday, November 14th. Please see Mrs. Sablehouse if you have any questions. Are you interested in attending the United States Naval Academy? If so, you should plan to attend an informational session on November 20th during sixth period. You will meet with an actual midshipman and learn about the application process. The acceptance requirements are many and complex, so you will have a better chance of admission if you start planning early. Those interested should sign up in their team offices before the end of the day on November 16th. Teens for Christ will meet in room F104 after school every Monday from 3 to 4 o'clock. Join them as they worship together, eat snacks, and study the book of Proverbs. All are welcome. There will be a History Club meeting tomorrow, Tuesday, November 14th at 3 o'clock in the main building LGI. They will be discussing t-shirt orders, the trip to Germany, upcoming events, and making Thanksgiving crafts. There are still a few slots open for the spring break to Munich, Germany. See Ms. Krohn at SA121 or any History Club office for more information. With winter sports approaching quickly, Cam Cliff checked in. He has a story for you. Winter sports are some of the most exciting all year long. Wrestling, swimming, and basketball are all examples of winter sports. The boys wrestling team had an amazing 2016-2017 season. They're looking to keep up the same dominance as last year. I block out the pressure of being one of the best guys in the country by just having fun and um, working hard. I think the team will do really solid this year. I think we'll hopefully win our second team state title and um, be back-to-back uh, -back state champions. The swimming season is also coming up very fast. Uh, really just trying to make varsity, get a varsity letter trying to work as hard as I can. Over around during football season, we had a lot of preseason workouts uh, all throughout the week. Some morning practices, a lot of preseason workouts. Although the girls basketball team took their first loss of the year on Saturday, they're looking to get back on track for the rest of the season. Although the boys basketball season isn't all the way started, they have a scrimmage at Center Grove on Thursday. Best of luck to all winter athletes this year. Jake Harris, BHS TV. For winter sports, I'm looking forward to my guys Chris Jackson, Traz, and Cam go out there and get some buckets. Now it's time for sports. Hey Dia, what do you have for us today, buddy? Hey guys, it's been looking like a pretty busy week for winter athletics at BHS. On Saturday night, the girls basketball team hosted Ben Davis. The varsity played a very exciting game that went into overtime against the Giants. In the end, the dogs fell 67 to 63. Mackenzie Steen led the dogs with 20 points and four rebounds in the game. The ladies also got help from Allison Bossy, Allie Becky, Tyam McKenzie, and Mackenzie Bedrick. The JV came away with the hard-fought 44-34 win over Ben Davis. The ladies played aggressively on both ends of the court and were led by Logan Lewis with 16 points and Megan Christian with 9 points. Nice job, ladies. The freshman team lost their first game of the season in overtime to Ben Davis, 30-26. Camry Leaf had 10 points and Allison Schaefer added 8 to lead the dogs. Let's take a look at some of the events that's going on for the rest of the week. Tomorrow, the girls' swimming and diving team will start their season as they host Tri-West. Also, on Tuesday, the girls' basketball teams will host Mooresville. On Thursday, the boys' basketball team will have their first excavation game 
at Center Grove, and on Friday, the girls' basketball teams will travel to Noblesville. The boys' diving season has started, and they're looking for any guys who enjoy diving and are interested in getting better. If you are interested in competing in a varsity sport, please see Coach Baldwin in the Senior Academy offices, Coach Gas in the pool classroom, or stop by the pool after school around 3.15. There will be a mandatory meeting tomorrow, Tuesday, November 14th, at 3.20 p.m. in the wrestling gym for anyone interested in playing boys' golf this year. There will also be a mandatory meeting for all freshman football players this Thursday, November 17th at 7.15 in the main building LGI. Everyone must attend. That's it for sports. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Dia. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. We will see you on Wednesday.